This classic French jacket is back on trend, so here are five easy autumn outfits to try. Hello everyone, welcome to my little but lovely space on the internet. Today, as the title would suggest, it's all about this classic French jacket, one of the big fashion trends for yet another season. So I thought you might enjoy watching five easy ways I shall be styling mine this autumn. Now helping me add a very chic finishing touch to lots of my looks today is the beautiful handbag collection from Songmont. But first, let's talk boucle jackets. So this is the Parisian style jacket I shall be styling. This is the black version of the blue one I'm wearing today actually. It is an under £100 version of the Coco Chanel Classic, a piece that's come in and out of fashion for the best part of 60 years. Now the key to finding the right jacket I would say is down to the shape. You want something cropped, fairly boxy, in the nicest quality within your own budget. Now it's not essential but I personally prefer the four pocket design and if you can find one with interesting details details that don't go too bling in the process, well that would be a lovely icing on the cake too. So let's begin these easy autumn outfits with the most traditional and quintessentially French style of pairing your jacket with dark denim jeans. Now whether your jacket is simply tweed style or 100% boucle doesn't really matter. The effect of this outfit idea is still incredibly chic and elevated. I prefer to go with my high-waisted jeans with cropped jackets like this for a very obvious rule of thirds over Overall, one third taking up my top half and two thirds on the bottom. You could go very plain underneath with a simple white tank or a bodysuit like I'm wearing today, or you could add a touch of detail with something striped instead. By having that extra layer underneath, you just give yourself more options on the styling if perhaps you wanted to wear the jacket open or closed on any given day. On my feet, I've kept it very classic with ballet flats. Mary Janes are particularly having a moment right now, but if they're not for you, I think timeless flats will create the same look overall. And perhaps even think about tying your hair up out of the way like I have today to keep the overall look even more sleek and polished. I actually went a step further as you can see and added a bow into the back that matches my shoes. It does give the look a bit of a quirky edge but it feels like me at the same time. It's a classic French look that no matter where you purchase those individual elements from will always work together beautifully. Boucle jackets don't always have to be polished and really dressed up. You can still feel chic and put together, pairing it with your trainers too. Let me show you how. So this time I'm styling my wide leg trousers that I got recently. Now these are made from a really lovely textured herringbone. So firstly, I like the mixture of that sat against the jacket. Both fabrics are more structured, but the differences in textures just add more depth to the look overall. Now secondly, keeping in mind I was going to keep my shoes really casual with this outfit, I I opted to keep my top half very elevated yet very very simple just adding in a cashmere crew neck now of course your top underneath doesn't need to be cashmere but this crew neck shape and very simple style does work particularly well under these classic french style jackets so that is your base it's very simple it's elegant and it looks really refined then when you add the trainers it feels a little bit more dressed down and kind of everyday look and then it's elevated back up again when you add in your tweed or your boucle jacket to finish. It's a styling formula that I reach for a lot and it can easily be translated with any outfit you're creating, not just these jacket looks. The overall effect feels really effortless and hopefully you agree. I still look very polished and put together but in a very easygoing and comfortable kind of way. Just a quick mention, I really hope you're finding my style tips helpful and gaining a little bit of inspiration of looks to recreate yourself. I post videos on YouTube once per week. It's totally free for you to subscribe and it's always very much appreciated. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I want to show you a collection of gorgeous handbags from Songmont. This brand creates premium leather bags that hold a real feminine element to them that just give any look that extra elevation overall. So let me show you what I chose. So I want to start off by showing you the cream medium lunar bag. Diving straight in with my favorite feature of this particular bag, which is just how versatile it really can be. So it comes with two straps that can be styled in four different but equally distinctive ways. The adaptability of the straps gives a variation to the lengths, which can then suit the look you're after, whether that be worn on your shoulder, as a clutch, cross body, or perhaps with the ladylike handle. With its textured leather and beautiful craftsmanship, the bag really appears as a work of art alongside my pieces in my wardrobe. 
So the second bag I've chosen is the medium tofu bag in this deep caramel shade. It's been made with leather to ensure long lasting quality and style. Now, firstly, I want to mention the gold hardware at the front of the bag, which I think is really, really striking. It's a delicate embellishment to the bag whilst giving it quite a solid and statement touch to the look overall. The hardware of this bag is also all gold plated, making it almost impossible to fade. The final bag I chose is an olive bucket bag made from a silky suede body and double-sided leather with the shoulder strap. Now I've chosen this particular color as I have so much camel and brown throughout my wardrobe as you've often seen and I think olive layers really beautifully alongside those darker neutrals too. And to be honest I think it's a beautiful shade of olive. I think they've got that spot on. Now I've chosen the medium and it can hold a 13 inch laptop but the larger size can fit a laptop of up to 16 inches. Plus another practical feature of this bag is that the side part pockets are perfect for storing your phone too, or just maybe your bits and bobs. I carry around a lot of bits and bobs with me. The Songwon bags are a really lovely addition to my own wardrobe with their minimal and very elegant designs. And I know they will look great alongside my French style jackets as they both have those unique shapes and structures. So if you're looking to indulge in one of these stunning handbags, don't forget you can use my discount code at checkout. And I have added a link for you to view the entire collection at the end of this video. The link as always is in the description box below. Now I've been styling a lot of autumn winter outfits with these couple of skirts recently which is actually quite rare for me to be honest as I tend to be more of a trouser and jeans wearer but I think with the current fashion trends feeling so very feminine at the moment it just feels very natural to be using them a lot and I'm actually really enjoying just having that extra group of outfit ideas to be able to reach for. Who knew I would become such a skirt wearer? Now you could either go black with a white skirt if perhaps that's something you've got in your own wardrobe and I really like it styled with my long black satin skirt too for that very elegant tonal look. I shall be sharing both of those looks properly over on my Instagram page next week I think so do keep an eye out for that. But today I fancied trying out the look with one of the other big fashion trends this season, the pencil skirt. Seen on the runway from all the big hitters like Saint Laurent and Versace to name but a few. So taking inspiration from lots of the boss vibe looks that we saw on the catwalk I've gone for a little bit of a grown-up French chic with just a tiny, tiny hint of understated sexiness. These kind of looks really remind me of um, the ex-editor of French Vogue, actually, Karine Reutfeld. If you haven't seen her style before, do have a Google after this. Maybe take a look at um, Pinterest. I'm sure there's some nice street style images over there. She has a really, really nice style that's quite distinctive. Now, depending on the top you choose to add underneath, this could absolutely work for the office, obviously, but it would also be an easy look to make work from desk to dinner too. Also to mention, I have added an edit of my top tweed style jackets that I've found across the high street and beyond into the description box below. Plus in there you will find all the links to all of my autumn outfits that I've worn today but I will say if I've forgotten anything because I do have a memory like a sieve feel free to let me know in the comment section and I'm only too happy to help. Now jeans would of course be the most typical way to see a boucle or a tweed jacket styled these days. It works so I don't think there's a need to fix it but what I do really like is sometimes adding a little bit of a unexpected twist to those outfit ideas. So in this case I'm starting with a base of my skinny black jeans which I might add I haven't worn for so long and they're feeling a wee bit too tight. <laughs> but bear with me there is a method to my madness with this one. Now I personally would rarely wear skinny jeans on their own with a crop jacket like this. Reason being I would feel quite exposed body shape wise around this hip area as the jeans are really quite tight fitting. I would feel the need for something a little bit longer on my top half to feel more comfortable or as is the case here something a bit longer on my bottom half instead. When you add a knee-high boot into the mix you change the overall shape on the leg. This slightly wider shape around my calf just helps to balance out the shape of my hips. I also really prefer to go black on black like this with both the jeans and the boots being in the same color. That will just help elongate your body even further. If however you want to make your boots stand and out even more this would absolutely work too perhaps with a black boot sat against blue jeans. I would just advise that you stay with a slim jean style so you don't end up with that excess fabric around the top of the boot. Then the addition of the French jacket pulls everything together and it really completes the outfit overall. The look
look feels very up to date. I now feel more comfortable in something a little bit tighter. And although still very elegant, there's also an individual edge to this one that I personally really like. But of course, I would always love to hear what you all think. So do let me know in the comments section below. Number five of my easy autumn outfits. And I wanted to go with something a little bit more elegant than jeans, but still something that's very wearable on an everyday basis. And in actual fact, it's another look that you could tweak pretty easily to make it work for the evening as well. What I love about this particular pair of trousers styled with the French jacket is the combination of textures. So these were made from a blend of the sustainable fabric Lever Eco. So there's a really lovely soft drape to them. That drape contrasts very nicely against the traditionally more structured boucle jacket. And of course, on top of that, you have that mixture of tones, adding even more interest and dimension into the outfit idea. You don't need to have this pair of tailored trousers to create the look, and you don't even need to go with something beige like I have. So I would focus on that contrast of textures first and foremost when creating these really elegant looks. So this jacket, for instance, is cotton. So maybe think about silk on your bottom half, or tensile perhaps actually, which is sustainable, affordable, and it has a very slight sheen to the fabric as well. It's one of my favorites. Bonus tips for styling your own French style jackets. One, think about styling leather this season with your traditional French style jackets. We will of course be seeing an awful lot of leather trousers and skirts across the high street this season. And this could be a really elegant, but slightly edgier way to interpret the trend. Two, boucle or tweed jackets tend to be quite intricate in their very nature. They're often quite textured. Even mine actually, that's quite classic in its style has got those big gold buttons. So I'd say my favorite outfit ideas are when it's very clean and minimal elsewhere. I would resist the urge to overcomplicate the look with your other pieces. It's often best to let a jacket with so much detail be the star of the show. Three, on colder days, you could easily layer a jumper underneath and make all of these looks that I've shared today equally work just as nicely. Again, I would opt for something simple like a classic turtleneck to retain those long, clean and simple lines within your own outfit ideas. Number four. Notice how my hair and makeup has seemed very minimal today too. That was intentional. Again, the less fuss you have going on elsewhere, the more you can make your investment pieces really shine. I actually have terribly sticky out ears, so I rarely style my hair like this. But if you don't, I think those looks where they sleek their hair back behind the ears in a really neat low bun really works perfectly with these classic French style jackets. Five. And finally, if you're really getting into tweed this autumn winter, I would take a leaf out of Chanel's book and pair it with a matching skirt or perhaps shorts instead. I really love this look and I've seen various street style images of it done beautifully well actually. So if you're looking for something just that little bit extra statement, consider going for the cohort set as well. And that's it, five very easy autumn outfits that you can try out this season. Remember, don't worry if you don't have exactly the same pieces that I have. These outfit ideas are just a guideline of how to style. You're then free of course to adapt them as you see fit with the pieces you already have in your own wardrobe. Don't forget if you're not already subscribed it would be really lovely if you'd like to do so and if you're feeling especially generous a thumbs up would always be very much appreciated. Have a wonderful week everyone and I will see you on Sunday. Take care.